Look at me now, the Joy Fit Club and our newest inductee. Yeah, she is a 36-year-old mother of four. She's an administrative assistant for a custom home builder in Lidditz, Pennsylvania. She dropped 110 pounds. Her name is Jill Cacciatore. And before we meet her, let's take a look at her story. Hi, my name is Jill. I wasn't always heavy. As a teenager, I participated in the Miss Teen Long Island pageant when I was 13, and I was captain of the cheerleading squad. I never worried about my weight. My struggle began in 1993 after I had my first child, Nunzio. I gained 60 pounds consuming anything I wanted. In 1996, I had my second child, Corinne. I gained 50 pounds on top of the weight I was carrying around from my son. I started a loss gain cycle that continued through the births of my other children, my daughter Gianna in 1997 and my son Joseph in 2001. I did a number of diets and lost weight, but after going back to eating normally, the weight slowly crept back on. Over the years, my weight soared to 250 pounds. I became so consumed with taking care of my family that I forgot about me. I felt so uncomfortable in my own skin, I hated that I couldn't enjoy the beach and pool with my family and friends. In May of 2007, I woke up and decided to change my life. I wanted to be healthy. I slowly changed my eating habits and started exercising. Next to having my children, the feeling of losing this weight and keeping it off is the best feeling I've ever had. I enjoy my life and family so much more and feel I can take better care of them because I'm taking care of myself. And we're going to meet Jill in uh, just a second. But first, let's say hello to our nutritionist and leader of the Joy Fit Club. Hello, hello Joy. All right. Lovely lady. And I'll tell you something to know before Jill comes yeah. out. She's had four kids. She's lost 110 pounds. She does not have one bit of sagging skin anywhere. Wow. This That's is the like toning. That's like the exercise. A genetic miracle. I mean, oh. she must have unbelievable elasticity because okay. when you see her, you're going to be knocked over. Really? Okay. Well, let's Are we going to like her? You're going to love her. You're going to love her. Are we going to like her? Let's look, at, <laughs> let's look at Jill before. Okay, here's Jill with her kids. All right, Jill, come join the Joy Fit Club. Oh. Yeah. I had no idea. I saw you just now, and I was like, who is that? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh! You look so good. Thank you. Oh, oh look at my little, gosh. Look at your. What is your waist around? It's little. I don't know. You don't know. Oh. What a size four six. Yes. Quit it. Because that was your yes. goal was a size, not I, pounds. Right. right. I wanted a size eight. Actually, was my original. Yeah. I, those are twenty up there. No, it's those just are size twenty. Yes. <gasps> wow. How does it feel to be sort of light and wearing um, cut clothes and the whole thing? It's nice. Yeah. It is amazing to go into a store and just pull something off a rack and know it's gonna fit me. Wow. You and said, go for a smaller size. You said in the piece, you said that you just woke up one morning and said, boom, I'm doing it. Yes. Why did you, what made you wake up that morning and say, um, boom? I just, I got tired of being fat. Yeah. I got tired of getting dressed in the morning and not having the energy for my children and not being able to play with them. Actually, yeah. I did. I did. I hated to get dressed. Yeah. And your kids, it, you ended up not being able to do much with them because you were just kind of fatigued and yes. wiped out. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, in going to the pool, going to the beach, just doing fun things with uh -huh. the kids. I just never did it. But, well, I think I remembered reading that the one thing that changed for her mm -hmm. was all of a sudden you said, I'm going to go outside and walk. Yes. On a Wednesday or something. It was it just, middle of the week. You know, some people start on a Monday. Monday. Yeah. So, I'm going to yeah. start Monday with my diet. And I just didn't want to do that. So I just it got hadn't up. not worked before. Right. right. So I or got up and just started walking one day. Wow. And the foods you were eating, did you eat all kind of crummy fast foods and yes. stuff like that? A lot of fast food with kids. You know, four kids. Nibbling one and cook them. two is yes. the biggest yes. problem. Yeah, so Joy, I that's kind of the very, issue. Right. And I think that's an issue for so many people that mm -hmm. struggle with their weight. So what Jill and I did was we prepared some of the biggest problems for her, which mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are going to identify with. First, she would grab off of her child's plate, whatever right. was left over. And every time you grab a small handful, handful. of fries, right. it's about 100 calories. Right. She ate in front of the television, uh -huh. and she'd go right through a family-sized bag of chips, well over a thousand calories. And this is yes, I can't <laughs> say no to. Oh, yes. I'm yes. sorry. Yes. This is while it's... you're preparing dinner. Yeah. You do a taste and yeah. a taste yeah. and Make a taste. Sure it tastes okay for everybody And then everybody you sit down else. and have dinner with yes. everybody. Right. So right. before you know, if you had a full dinner, and then you sit down and you have your second dinner. So she pops a piece of gum in her mouth while she's yeah. cooking so that she does not get into yeah. So was it the just stew. the nibbling that, that it was put the, the weight on? It, it was nibbling and, and not exercising, not moving. 
And and now you eat, what do you eat now? Just healthy. Um, just stuff? healthy. I didn't cut anything. You don't else. crave it anymore. I at don't. All. Yeah. yeah. I don't crave it. I, if I eat something sweet, I actually feel a little nauseous. When you see this before but, pictures of you, because we keep looking at the before oh, and after split screen, she and we're want thinking, to I don't want to. Oh, what are you? What do you think when you look oh, at those kind of that pictures? That makes me nauseous. And, and oh. any, any advice? And sad. With, but you're yeah. not sad. Look at you no, now. No, happy I'm great. now. Okay. What do you say to people who are trying to do what you're doing? Just get up and move and do something that you love. I love to run now. You do. I love it. Oh, All right, now you're getting on my nerves. No, no, I really, I, I like to I run five it. miles about four to five times <gasps> a week, and it's my release. And Thank it's you my so much, Jill. I'm <laughs> away from the kids and just to no, I, I love awesome. it. You are a rock star. Jill, thank you so and much. And that yeah. smile yeah. is one of the most beautiful smiles yeah. I've yeah. ever yeah. seen yeah. in my life. Yes. Yes. Thank yes. you for inspiring our ladies out there yeah. still watching. And, and if you know someone who you think should be considered for a spot on the Joy Foot Club, go to our website, todayshow.com. And you can also hear more about Jill's story on the website website too and some nutrition advice.